Hey guys, welcome back to the Detail Garage. Now today, we're gonna to be showing some love to one of our employees. This Chevy Cruze belongs to one of the guys who works in the office, and recently he broke up with his girlfriend and he hasn't been doing so hot. And as you can tell, he hasn't been taking care of his car, and we're gonna show him a little bit of love by surprising him by washing his car. It's covered in dirt, debris, it even has cobwebs, and on the back, there's a sticker that has too many hurtful memories. So we're gonna take that off so that he can just move on. And also in the interior, it has a funky smell. It's got a mix between a musk and a perfume. So we're gonna remove all that and get back to a factory scent. But before we do that, we're gonna rinse off all this dirt and debris and then move on with the rest of the foaming process. Now, the owner of this cruise doesn't actually know that we're washing it. We kind of sneaked his keys away while he wasn't looking, and now we're gonna do this as quickly and as quietly to bring back that factory shine. But after rinsing off the vehicle, we can see there's a lot of water spots, that guy, and uh, all kinds of debris that's sitting on top of the paint. So now we're gonna move on to the foaming process by using honeydew soap, and that's gonna create these thick suds that emulsify anything that's remaining on the surface. And it's also gonna bring back that high shine because as you can see, this car has a lot of metallic, and we really wanna enhance that. So we've got our two bucket method set up, and if you don't know what two bucket means, it means we have one bucket for washing and one bucket for rinsing. And we're gonna place a dirt trap in each one of these buckets. And these dirt traps filter out as much dirt and debris as it can so we don't scratch the vehicle. And we'll just place them in the bucket and press them all the way against the bottom. And that creates a seal that prevents any of that abrasive particles from coming back up to those cones and returning to the vehicle. And while we're at it, we're gonna add an ounce of our honeydew snow foam. This is the soap that I was mentioning that's gonna enhance the metallic flake while also adding a thick lubrication barrier that's going to prevent any kind of scratches or swirls while we're washing it. And the foam cannon that I've chosen to go with today is our Torx Snow Foamer. I love this foam cannon because it creates tons of thick suds with using less PSI and also uses less soap. So we can coat this whole vehicle and just really give it a nice shine by using our Torx Snow Foamer. So we're going to go ahead and set up both these buckets, get going, and then we can start foaming and then washing this car. So now moving on with the foaming process, we're gonna go ahead and grab our wash mitt, and this is gonna help scrub away anything else that's remaining on the surface. Because even after rinsing it, it looked a lot better, but there's always things that are stuck on the surface like tree sap, bird poop, water spots that have etched the paint. But by scrubbing them off, this is gonna help bring back that factory shine. So now we're gonna start at the highest point just like we did when we were rinsing and foaming, and then work in straight lines. This is gonna prevent adding any additional swirls to the paint job. So as you can see, Honeydew Snow Foam did an amazing job of creating these thick suds which are lubricating our wash mitt and are also enhancing that metallic shine. So now we're gonna take our wash mitt and dunk it in our second bucket. And as we rub it up against that dirt trap, this is gonna help release any of the dirt and debris that are stuck in our wash mitt and the trap underneath those cones. This way we're keeping it off the car and also we're printing any kind of scratches. And then to further reduce that dirt from coming back on the car, we're gonna take it outside the bucket. And this is where we're wringing it out. And now we can grab fresh water and soap and then keep on washing. So as you can see, we've brought the cruise inside and before the car can start drying fully and also creating water spots, we're gonna start wiping it off using afterwash. And this is a drying aid that, as you can see, it breaks the tension between the water particles and also the paint so that the water can't dry. And then you take your favorite microfiber towel and just start wiping it off in straight lines. Now, again, like we mentioned when we were washing, by wiping off in straight lines, this prevents the installation of swirls, which is a lot easier to notice and a lot harder to polish out. So by taking the precautions of working carefully, you're gonna 
actually preventing the chances of inducing any kind of paint imperfections. So I'm gonna finish off this car and then we got a couple more touches to hit before we give back to the owner. mentioned that there is a sticker back here that we're going to remove because one, it looks awful and two, it's bringing up too many hurtful memories. So I'm going to show you my way or what I believe is the easiest way to remove these kind of stickers and that's by starting off by using some clay luber to spray the surface down and this is going to help clean off anything that's around there, any residual and it's also helping lubricate as we peel off the sticker. And we're going to be using a blade here. I've already replaced the blade so we've got a brand new blade in there so we don't scratch or etch the glass. And we're going to start here working at an angle and just gently working our way down. This peels off any kind of stickers or decals to reveal that clear clarity again. And it takes off anything that's on the glass. Now as you can see, the sticker and the decal, it's all been removed, but the thing is that there's still that remaining little residue. Just like a broken heart, there's still that remaining paint, so we're gonna butter wet wax away anything that's left on the surface. Now using a blue towel, which we've dedicated for our glass and windows, we're gonna use just a little bit of the butter wet wax and gently work it into the glass, and that's gonna remove any of that remaining adhesive or any of the remaining decal, so that we can get back to a perfect clarity, perfect fresh start. Now the natural cleaning oils of butter wet wax easily remove any kind of adhesive. Uh, it can remove overspray to reveal fresh paint, fresh glass. And that's why you also have a nice protective coat that adds shine and protection. Alrighty guys, to recap what we've done today, we started off by washing this cruise using honeydew snow foam, and that created tons of thick suds that emulsified any dirt and debris so we didn't scratch the finish. And it also enhanced the metallic shine. And then as promised, we removed that sticker that was on the back window to restore that clarity and also get rid of those bad memories. Now as a last step, we're gonna go ahead and remove any of that airborne dirt and debris, that musky odor by using some of our zesty lemon lime scent. This helps to trap any airborne debris so that we can get rid of any lingering odors and it also gives it a new scent. Now all you need to do is turn the AC on to maximum cold and also have it on maximum recirculate. Spray it in the footwell, this is where it brings it through the AC conditioning and then this is gonna help rejuvenate that car scent. Now we have more videos coming your way, but for now, you guys can head over to our website, chemicalguys.com. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. We'll see you next time right here in the detail garage.